Hey everyone, I certainly hope you're enjoying your Saturday and having a wonderful weekend. Thank you for stopping by to hear the word today. Please stick around till after the reading because I'm going to be saying a prayer for all of those who would like to make Jesus Christ their personal Lord and Savior. And you guys can repeat after me if you would like to make that decision. If you have not done so already, please watch yesterday's video so that you know what I've read previously. We are on day 259 of Bible in One Year, and I'm going to be reading Hosea chapter 10 all the way through to chapter 14. All right, let's get started. From the New King James Version, the Word of God reads in Hosea chapter 10, verse 1 through 15. Israel empties his vine. He brings forth fruit for himself. According to the multitude of his fruit, he has increased the altars according to the bounty of his land. They have embellished his sacred pillars. Their heart is divided. Now they are held guilty. He will break down their altars. He will ruin their sacred pillars. For now they say, we have no king because we did not fear the Lord. And as for a king, what would he do for us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely and making a covenant. Thus judgment springs up like hemlock in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria fear because of the calf of Beth Avon, for its people mourn for it, and its priests shriek for it because its glory has departed from it. The idol also shall be carried to Assyria as a present for King Jerob. Ephraim shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Samaria, her king is cut off like a twig on the water. Also, the high places of Avon, the sin of Israel shall be destroyed. The thorn and thistle shall grow on their altars. They shall say to the mountains, cover us and to the hills, fall on us. O Israel, you have sinned from the days of Gibeah. There they stood. The battle in Gibeah against the children of iniquity did not overtake them. When it is my desire, I will chastise them. People shall be gathered against them when I bind them for their two transgressions. Ephraim is a train heifer that loves to thresh grain, but I harnessed her fair neck. I will make Ephraim pull a plow. plow. Judah shall plow. Jacob shall break his clods. Sow for yourself righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rains righteousness on you. You have plowed wickedness. You have reaped iniquity. You have eaten the fruit of lies because you trusted in your own way and the multitude of your mighty men. Therefore, tumult shall arise among your people and all your fortresses shall be plundered as Shalman plundered Beth Arbel in the day of battle. A mother dashes in pieces upon her children. Thus it shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great wickedness. At dawn, the king of Israel shall be cut off utterly. Hosea chapter 10, verse 1 through 12. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son as they called them. So they went from them. They sacrificed to the Baals and burned incense to carved images. I taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I drew them with gentle cords, with bands of love. And I was to them as those who take the yoke from their neck. I stooped and fed them. He shall not return to the land of Egypt, but the Assyrians shall be his king because they refuse to repent and the sword shall slash in his cities, devour his districts and consume them because of their own counsels. My people are bent on backsliding from me. Though they call to the most high, none at all exalt him. How can I give you up Ephraim? How can I hand you over Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I set you like Zeboam? My heart turns within me. My sympathy is stirred. I will not execute the fierceness of my anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God and not man, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come with terror. They shall walk after the Lord. He will roar like a lion. When he roars, then his son shall come trembling from the west. They shall come trembling like a bird from Egypt, like a dove from the land of Assyria, and I will let them dwell in their houses, says the Lord. Ephraim has encircled me with lies. 
and the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah still walks with God, even with the Holy One who is faithful. Hosea chapter 12, verse 1 through 14. Ephraim feeds on the wind and pursues the west, east wind. He daily increases lies and desolation. Also, they make a covenant with the Assyrians. The oil is carried to Egypt. The Lord also brings a charge against Judah and will punish Jacob according to his ways. According to his deeds, he will recompense him. He took his brother by the heel in the womb, and in his strength he struggled with God. Yes, he struggled with the angel and prevailed. He wept and sought favor from him. He found him in Bethel, and there he spoke to us. That is, the Lord God of hosts. The Lord is his memorable name. So you, by the help of your God, return. Observe mercy and justice and wait on your God continually. A cunning Canaanite, deceitful scales are in his hand. He loves to oppress. And Ephraim said, Surely I have become rich. I have found wealth for myself. In all my labors they shall find in me no iniquity that is sin. But I am the Lord your God. Ever since the land of Egypt, I will again make you dwell in tents, as in the days of the appointed feast. I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions. I have given symbols through the witness of prophets. Through Gilead have has idols. Surely they are vanity. Though they sacrifice bulls in Gilgal, Indeed, their altars shall be heaps in the furrows of the field. Jacob fled to the country of Syria. Israel served for a spouse, and for a wife he tended sheep. But a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet he was preserved. Ephraim provoked him to anger most bitterly. Therefore, his Lord will leave the guilt of his bloodshed upon him, and return his reproach upon him. Hosea chapter 13, verse 1 through 16. When Ephraim spoke, trembling, he exalted himself in Israel. But when he offended through Baal worship, he died. Now they sin more and more and have made for themselves molded images, idols of their silver, according to their skill. All of it is the work of craftsmen. They say to them, let the men who sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore, they shall be like the morning cloud and like the early dew that passes away, like chaff blown off from a threshing floor and like smoke from a chimney. Yet I am the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt, and you shall know no God but me, for there is no Savior besides me. I knew you in the wilderness and the land of great drought. When they had pasture, they were filled. They were filled and their heart was exalted. Therefore they forgot me. So I will be to them like a lion, like a leopard by the road I will lurk. I will meet them like a bear deprived of her cubs. I will tear open her rib cage, and there I will devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. O Israel, you are destroyed, but your help is from me. I will be your king. Where is any other that he may save you in all your cities? And your judges, to whom you said, Give me a king and princes. I gave you a king in my anger and took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up. His sin is stored up. The sorrows of a woman in childbirth shall come upon him. He is an unwise son, for he should not stay long where children are born. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be your plagues. O grave, I will be your destruction. Pity is hidden from my eyes. Though he is fruitful among his brethren, an east wind shall come. The wind of the Lord shall come up from the wilderness. Then his spring shall become dry, and his fountain shall be dried up. He shall plunder the treasury of every desirable prize. Samaria is held guilty, for she has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword, their inhabitants shall be dashed in pieces, and their woman with child ripped open. Hosea chapter 14, verse 1 through 9. O Israel, return to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. 
Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, nor will we say any more to the work of our hands. You are our gods, for in you the fatherless finds mercy. I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned away from him. I will be like the dew of Israel to Israel. He shall grow like the lily and lengthen his roots like Lebanon. His branches shall spread. His beauty shall be like an olive tree and his fragrance like Lebanon. Those who dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall be revived like grain and grow like a vine. Their scent shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, what have I do any more with idols? I have heard and observed him. I am like a green cypress tree. Your fruit is found in me. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. And that concludes today's reading. Um, if there's anything that you took away from the reading, please do share. I would love to hear from you in the comments. I said at the beginning, if Jesus Christ is not your personal Lord and Savior, um, to stick around towards the end. I have a prayer that I'm going to pray. If you would like to pray this prayer and accept Jesus Christ into your heart as personal Lord and Savior, let's bow our heads. And even if you are already saved and just want to say, Lord, I've messed up, I've done some things wrong, and I want to turn my life over to you and do things your way, would you pray this prayer for me? Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking you for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Jesus is your son. And that he died on the cross for me at Calvary that I might be forgiven. And have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Father, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead. And I ask right now that you come into my life and be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and will worship you all the days of my life. Because your word is truth, I confess with my mouth that I am born again. And cleansed by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name I pray, amen. Well, if you've made that declaration and prayed that prayer, please message me so we can talk about the next steps that you should take to going forward so that you can grow as a Christian. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and being here with me on Time with Tiffy. I sure do hope that you enjoyed today's reading. Please join me again on my channel tomorrow. And remember to hit that notification bell, comment, like, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we sip on tea so flavory, eat treats so savory, and enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You all have a blessed day, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Enjoy your weekend. Until next time.